hello uh, welcome to think tricks um, so in this tutorial I just want to um, mention or I just want to I think this is very really important that's what I feel like is that uh, about viscosity and density okay so are they same it's it shows you a similar result when you when you do something isn't it um, so let me tell you my like why I wanted to make this video because it was very confusing for me what is viscosity and once it what is density I know I have learned this when I was when I was in uh, 10th grade or plus but uh, that was just uh, you know just just by hearting and um, writing the formula and stuff but now when I when I was uh, you know like experimenting on flip fluid um i got more confusing like what is density and what is viscos viscosity so viscosity is also gives you a thick um like you can control the thickness of the fluid and density is is the same like even though it is a weight but the prop things what you can get is, is it's almost the same okay and when you mix both and it's gonna be very confusing so i i did my research um on of course Google research so I hope that is now the biggest research center okay so I did my research and what I got is what is viscosity let's talk about that viscosity is an internal friction of a fluid of course that's a science right like if you don't like science just just wait just wait I'm gonna explain and the density is what normally referred to as the weight of the fluid okay so both like I said viscosity density when the result come it's the same but uh, in science it is entirely different see even it's mentions here uh, most of the people think that um, viscosity and density are both the same thing expressed in a different forms they are two truly different concept even I agree after all this research the density is a measurement of molecular weight of composition so density is just the weight of the molecular okay where viscosity it's an internal friction so what is internal friction it is another word called it's a fluid resistance okay it's a fluid resistance i'm going to talk um, again i know this is like science 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 uh but um i did more research on it so in this tutorial in this this guy it's a hindi one uh, he explains it's pretty good and he says that see it's offer internal resistance in the movement of one layer so let me talk about viscosity first okay so I'm gonna mute this guy but I'm gonna explain it quickly as possible okay so is one good example viscosity okay so viscosity high viscosity and low viscosity so imagine you have a water water has a low viscosity okay water and a honey all right so if you are pouring honey into a jar and water into a, another jar so which one do you think will fill fast of course the water right because that is uh, you cannot say that the density but that's the viscosity is um, low for the water okay so in other words the internal friction Okay, it's like it can easily like if there is a layer here it can easily run through it run through it and fall okay but here they have a high density so when there is a layer here it tend to make it slower make it slower okay so that's high viscosity and low viscosity honey and water the same thing you can take it here when you have a high I mean low viscosity and if you try to stir for example you know a tea uh, you can stir fast okay but if you have a syrup or, or honey again uh, you tend to take you tend to have uh, you know like a, like a pressure you need to put some pressure that's viscosity uh, another another good example for for more that I found it is uh, by this experiment okay so in this experiment um, so here uh, at 557 okay so he's explaining so this is important this is what I found it's very important uh, uh, to know to learn about viscosity okay and the difference between the density so he takes a uh, honey um, 
yeah, so some some different properties. So honey, I think honey or maple syrup. You can watch it. Uh, so you see, you see the resistance or the viscosity is high. So that's why it's it is slow. Okay, so viscosity when I mean viscosity, the resistance or the internal friction is high. Okay, so that's why it is moving movement is slow. But here you can see it is moving fast. Uh, faster than this which means it, it has uh, you know this has lower viscosity than this okay so so another 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 so he then last in last he put alcohol or something alcohol is more of water um, so that went so fast okay so because it's, it has a very low viscosity okay so what you can understand from here is that Viscosity you can only uh, experiment. Okay, it's like if it is a stationary, uh, if this, yeah, for example, yeah, this one. Okay, the jar with this, you cannot tell what's the viscosity of each one. Like by looking at if it is stationary, see if everything is stationary, um, and you cannot say which one will uh, flow faster, isn't it? Like. You can see here here you can see which one is faster because you pour it and it has a movement okay so but here you cannot say which one will be faster when you pour okay so that is one important thing to understand about viscosity is that viscosity to feel or to to understand if something has a viscosity you need to have a movement okay so that's why you can see here um i have yeah so to, so scientifically okay scientifically you see uh, how to find viscosity um test our liquid okay uh, i know i know don't don't learn up all these uh, like no don't learn but i'm saying in science uh, viscosity can be measured or can be found if it has a time okay so timing timing of the running water which is movement so i'm just clarifying it more clearly that uh, if you want to know if, if something has a viscosity you need to you know make it move so without movement it is hard to understand if that has a thick or basically just take a jelly gel gel basically gel not jelly gel uh, on a tube you don't know how um how viscous is it but when you squeeze it then you know oh the viscous is this much now density okay let's talk about density so to density this guy is even discussing that uh in the beginning so it's a weight of the molecule all right so it's a weight uh so this guy uh, it's a tube tower and he's filling all the property like uh, honey uh, syrup maple syrup uh, dishwasher uh, alcohol like normal water so I think blue is water you see it has a layer you watch this one so you can understand more but I'm, I'm quickly explaining it uh, what, whatever is necessary to carry out my Houdini uh, Houdini experiment okay it's all because of the density like how it is staying on top of each other is because of the density the lowest one will have a high density because if you put a high density here it will slowly go down here for example this is uh, uh this is five four three two one density okay and this one has a property of six so when you pour that six it will go down and it settle on bottom because the density is higher so it stays at the bottom so another girl like really good really good Emma, 12 subscriber but she i think it's a school experiment or something for her um viscosity is the resistance of a substance to flow okay so she experiments on all of this uh honey so he put up like high viscosity honey and she put a, a ball which has a good resistance and it took so much hours to to go down okay so because of because this has a high density 
and high viscosity another example she is giving heating so yes both the density and the viscosity if if you try to heat it it the property is going to be different uh, see in this one the property has changed the high viscosity turned to low and high density turned to low and now the density mass volume she's having an experiment on here the density is really good so she put some water low density high density okay now see it's on top so that's a good experiment right and she then put a dishwasher the dishwasher it has a high density than water see it is going just above because that's if if this has a higher density than the honey it will definitely go down okay so it's a really good example and oil this is the one i want to show wow isn't this crazy tell me isn't this crazy see oil stays on top of water now you are like what the density of oil is lesser than water perfect it is right density of oil is lesser than water like i said just a proof of water is water has a high density than oil okay so i've written here you can see here oil is more dense than alcohol but less dense than water okay so just to make you understand you know if you are putting an alcohol on oil um oil is going to go down and alcohol is going to be on top uh, but less than a water so if you pour again a water then water gonna stay at the bottom okay so you can see the values and stuff i've written here that's why you know when when the oil and water are mixed water sinks and oil floats okay so these are the viscosity property of that is the density property and the viscosity so viscosity you can see <laughs> this is where everything goes like mind-blowing so oil dense uh not that uh yeah oil is denser than water okay so in oil i mean water is denser than oil isn't it but viscosity is different in viscosity oil has more viscosity than water this is density and this is viscosity see it's mind-blowing isn't it yeah it's a different property but still it's like we all I, even i thought um even i thought oil uh, oil is has a kind of thickness right so i thought oil uh, is more denser than water but i was wrong I was wrong okay so it's the density when it come to density water is more dense than oil and when it comes to uh, viscosity oil has more viscosity than water okay so small example is uh, i don't know if if you're an indian you will understand this one um it's a pickle with oil right so pickle with oil so you can see if even if you put oil first on the jar and then you add the pickle uh, after a few hours you can see the oil comes at the top okay so because oil has very low density than the others okay so i uh, so another one example you can watch this by this okay you can type in and uh, even this is a really good um example for for density and viscosity so you can see the density of her experiment uh, on top on top the density is low and on and gradually goes to high okay and the viscosity she the property of this one is low and the property of this one is high and the property of this one is medium so this is another uh, main important that things you need to understand by looking at this we can say that uh, the top one has a low density and low, low bottom one has the high density okay but how can we understand viscosity okay so i told you to understand viscosity you need to have a 
movement okay you need to have a flow like for example if you have a jar of something okay and you don't want to take whatever you have inside uh, to see how much is the viscosity okay so instead what you can do you can put some weighted thing okay so that's what you can see here so she's going to put some weight okay and you can see you can see um, when it reach here since it has a high high viscosity it moves slow the, the whatever she's putting it's more slow so I'll show you okay so she's putting that object and it falls so fast here because the density is low and the viscosity is also super low but here you can see it's moving very slow because it has a density a medium kind of density but it has a high viscosity so it is the resistance you know the the flow resistance is keeping it stronger to uh, so that it, so that's why it's not moving uh, downwards faster okay but as it reach here okay here so this one has a high density so that's why it is uh, positioned at the bottom okay but this doesn't have a high viscosity okay like not high i think it's written was medium viscosity okay so yes it's much faster than this so i hope you understand the signs of the difference between viscosity and density uh, now let's do uh, in Houdini in Houdini we can control anything isn't it yeah uh, first of all I hope you you know Houdini basic if you have if you don't know uh, you can you can watch my uh, this is the channel and uh, you can there's a playlist it's a playlist uh, I've uploaded 28 um like it's this is basically uh from zero to hero kind of thing it's like i'm slowly touching and start teaching one by one like from the interface viewport i know there are many uh on online uh, but the plus point of this uh series is is that um it's like whatever tool i learn i teach you i'm gonna use that thing on the next and from there you learn one more and then you learn one more then you learn one more it's like step by step you're gonna uh, do everything with that tools you learned or notes you learned you're gonna learn the next okay, so that's my uh, main idea of the series zero 3d knowledge to number one okay so the FX hasn't reached yet module one m1 is module one 28 so there's module two where module two i'm gonna teach uh i'm gonna not no, i'm gonna explain about fx from pop rbd pyro etc 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 okay so it's a slow process so it's gonna take some time um recording and editing okay so stay tuned i hope you I know all these tools uh uh, but of course if you are watching this viscosity fluid um, you must be familiar with houdini so keeping that in belief you know houdini i'm going through this once quickly so box and i'm putting a mat size and y min so that it's easy to put it on the ground see it's not on the ground with just a single node i put it that and i kept a uh, three copy with manual uh, translation three copy okay and um, I'm splitting it because I want I want to have a one property for this I want to have an, another different property for this and this property also okay so I'm splitting it there are many ways also okay but I tend to like this one so that I can I can have further control uh, later Okay, so I've split in it and um, I'm putting another transform and I'm just taking a, another copy kind of thing. Um, okay, so same thing. I'm taking the other piece and I'm moving it like this, moving it like this. Okay, so you can see what's what I'm doing here is you can see. Yeah. So I'm trying to put 
I'm trying to explain everything in one single <laughs> uh, one single setup one single source it's like uh, outside one so this is inside okay this is outside right so outside one will show you will demonstrate will demonstrate the viscosity okay and inside one I'm gonna explain the density so you can watch everything in single uh, single sim that's why right so that's what you can see here so uh, you know this transform is like I have a three and I took the one and put it here and in here also I'm putting it here and this one transform also I'm putting it here so that's the one like uh, I'm not doing any project right I'm just showing you the difference between density and viscosity so this is I think this is the best way to show uh, the difference okay then I put a flip fluid for all nothing fancy nothing only thing I did is um, the particle separation I copied it okay I copied from the because the value has to be correct uh, from uh, inside and here I'll, I'll show you but here let me tell you that uh, it's all the same flip okay so that um, <clears throat> so that you can see this will have like one of one of the bar from here and one from here will have same property okay and I'm coloring it so you can see I, I colored it to red green blue you can color from here by pressing c c for canada okay c and uh, i'm just coloring it because i can sh i'll show you what's what's my idea here so i'm giving property for you can see this one so i'm giving property for density density and giving property density and giving a viscosity attribute uh, in the soap level okay, geometry level I'm giving two okay and uh, same thing this has a different value okay so I'm, I'm, I'll be experimenting with this value but I'm just showing you it's the same setup take took uh, three uh, three copies okay same setup three copies so I'll play with the values okay so if you want to copy um, if you want to try this method um, I think this is what I'm doing here so inside for density example and outside for viscosity example okay same thing here okay and I'm giving a manual um, <clears throat> attribute same thing density viscosity okay and let's dive inside the solver um yes i hope you know what's this okay uh yeah volume source three volume source so that i can bring all them all of them so you can see here only one thing you have to make sure is it's dollar f equal to equal to one uh, y equal to equal to one uh so that it just emit one time if i don't keep it then if i don't keep it or if i keep it default this will emit uh particles okay emit fluid which i think it's too much for this example like for this example i think oh i know it, it has to be fast right simulation so one single is enough you if you want to try you can try emitting but i wouldn't suggest and change this to source flip and i said first second third which is this first second third and very basic uh so this one is what i'm i'm copying it okay it's like i said copy and pasted here 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 so that's why you can see 0 0.05 value everywhere because I have taken from here and yeah I put this close to boundary if you want you can close it if you don't want don't close it so it's basically what I'm saying is uh, whatever is going out 
I mean, it should not go out. It should not go out. It's just it's it should behave like a box. If it come here, it should come back. Okay, so initial nothing. I removed the soft path. Okay, and uh, particles because it's faster. The guide is faster. Yeah, so I did not change any of that. Um, and in the soft, this is where everything uh, begins. Okay, so I I resized the box, the limit. Because I think as a default, it is so big. It is 10 by 10. Uh, it's so big. I don't want that. I made it my customized. You can do it from here. Like if you click this one, you can adjust it. And I nothing much. Just I turn down enable viscosity and viscosity by attribute and density by attribute. So what I'm trying to say is like a look for the attribute outside okay in the soap level so whatever value i'm giving there you multiply that with this and you multiply that with this so basically one into whatever i'm giving is that value isn't it zero into one is zero so that value so nothing to worry and a gravity and a static object so i can show you what is static object in my case it's very simple so this is my static object uh, okay why yeah this is my static object just a box um like a tower <laughs> like what they what they try to do like this i don't want to be a tower i want to make it very simple so i try to make a one this okay and um yeah so let's begin our experiment okay so if i click here you can see i have that block like that static uh collider i have a gravity also right okay i have gravity and a static uh, static is a main uh, like if you if you're not familiar then uh, i'll give a quick one so get the shape you like and put a collision collision source and you uh, put a null for geo and bdp and in the volume you put um in my experiment it's 0 0.05 is good so you can see it's good this is all all i want as a collision if you want however you want you can eat degrees or increase it okay and uh, and i brought that in the soap and i changed the volume sample because i have a vdb see i have a vdb here right i have a vdb so i said take that vdb and treat that okay so you can see here uh, i i hide that display and i i want just to visualize my vdb so you see my collision looks exactly what i want so it's better to view from the display because it's faster so let's begin and uh, yeah since it exports the static object that's why you can see here so what i did here like i don't want this i just want whatever uh, the fluid are so i put a dop io and copy like you can drag and you can drag and copy here that's one method or just click control c and control v control v here see dop net one not one, one and the node which node of course it's a flip object node so you can see here yeah flip object one and go to the flip fluid so you get the preset uh, export things okay so it's all like uh, you don't have to manually write everything they just get you the the, um, the preset okay and now so you can see here i have volume one two three Okay, so I colored stream volume one. You can get it from here. If you click here, you can see stream one, two, three. So I gave three colors. One, two, three. Okay, so you can see here blue, blue, green, green, red, red. So it's easy to make you understand what's happening. Okay, and um, 
and in, in the other hand I say look at text uh, so I for a, a text and I transformed wherever I want and then I colored black same thing for everything so that we will that's not important first of all so you can see here whatever value I'm giving I'll give it here so that you know what's happening first let's talk about um, um, viscosity so the intro to flip I'm explaining about the viscosity so what's viscosity and stuff so in here I am I'll just show you a quick one about viscosity um, okay so I'm turning I'm turning every density back to zero yeah so here zero 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 okay and I'm giving some value 10 1 uh, yeah 2000 or or I'll give a thousand okay I'll give a thousand and uh, so the same thing I'm, I'm I want to mention here okay so dd is in a top density that I will discuss but that no yeah no just don't okay so red one it is 10 green one is 1 and 1000 okay so 0 10 0 1 and 0 thousand not two thousand thousand okay so <clears throat> so basically these are ignored okay so i'm bypassing it uh and i'll go inside and i'll say that um density is off right so there is not density uh, reading from outside from the soap okay so the rest is the same okay um, so viscosity turned on the attribute so it's gonna read my zero one thousand value zero one thousand value right zero one ten and thousand value okay so let's see uh, don't don't look at this one right so I can, I can actually get rid of that to explain about the viscosity I don't want that yeah this has to be default so default value okay so i changed i think i changed it uh so yeah i put it back to the default right so now this is what you have to get well you know in your beginning same with all the basic setup uh by turning on the viscosity okay so this is what you have to get So now it will be harder, less harder and very smooth, okay? So, which is exactly like what it says. Uh, viscosity 1, viscosity 10 and viscosity 1000. So here, here I want to I want to mention something, okay? So what's that is, um, if I turn on, like let's say, let's go, let's come back here. Uh, let's come back here and I'll turn on the density. Right, so I'll turn on the density. So it is actually looking for here. Okay, let me turn on this and let me check back. So everything is zero. Let me check back what's going to show you and then I can give you a final answer. If yes, 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 yes. So <clears throat> when I turned on, okay, when I turned on this, the density is zero, but when I turn back, that's actually strange. Uh, of course, it has to be zero, but it is referring this density, okay, thousand. So that's why that behavior was uh, different. So you can see it, one, two, three, now it will be so hard. Yeah, so see, so hard and uh, this one, so why? The question is why so it's like if you turn this on and the density is zero so imagine okay if if there is something coming from the the soap level then they ignore the density okay so I'll, I'll i'll do it again i'll just show you so i have zero density here 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 and if i play it's gonna be solid okay because it is looking as a zero density 
okay and uh, if I come here and if I put 0 here also it will be the same result because at, like I said if you turn on if you turn on uh, attribute then it's gonna look here and if it doesn't find it here it's gonna take this value okay but in my case right now it is looking here and it is zero density and to prove what it's correct like I'm putting there also it's density zero so it's gonna behave like zero density so now your question will be more uh, curious right like its density is zero then why uh, the behavior is like this okay so that is the one um, you need to know uh, I think in uh, in this one this is this is the right answer for for the for the question okay it's like you play so here the density is low and the viscosity is low so it went so fast okay uh, same as here yeah, I'm gonna match it here same as here so I will make one of them density low viscosity low okay uh, so I think um, what I found out in Houdini is that if density is higher than viscosity so it's like here 0 and 1 so viscosity is higher than the density right so in the green I'll change it I'll change the density uh, viscosity is 1 and density is 0 right so I'll keep it this visco density 5 okay in the here and viscosity 1 okay so I'll just change it here also density 5 so now you can see so it's the density is greater than the viscosity right so now you can see a little bit of spread out uh, yeah so you can see here it's gonna spread out it won't behave like like what you just saw. See, it's gonna spread out. Okay, so that is what I want to show you uh, in in this example. Also, it's like here, um, it's going so fast. So I can definitely say the viscosity is uh, less than the density. Okay, of course the the total density of this three uh, tower. So it's like from three tower it says here okay so like you can say so low high low high medium okay so just making it clear for you so here density is lower i can show you I, that's sure that's for sure because it is on the top so density is lower and the viscosity um as when i can see is that when when she turned on and it went so fast from here to here right so which definitely means viscosity is lower than the density here okay so I'll change uh, so in this one I'll, I'll make it um, density is greater than velocity viscosity okay so that's what here uh, density is um, you know maybe one or two um, greater than viscosity that's why uh, it went so fast okay and the other one the other one this one the density is you can see the density is uh, medium right like because it's coming from low to high right so middle will be medium right so medium but viscosity is high okay so I'll come here I'll come here and uh, make it red yeah so density I will keep it uh, 10 okay and the viscosity I'll keep it uh, it's high right so 20 viscosity is greater than density in this one okay so you see 10 and 20 0 I mean 5 and 1 so 5 is greater than 1 uh, 10 uh, here 20 is greater than D okay and the last one the density in this one if you come here uh, the last one you can see it's going fast again it's going fast for like come on and yes 
Okay, so here you can say that, okay, viscosity is lower, right? Because even she says here, it's a medium one. So let's put a viscosity medium and the density high. 20 is the density. Okay, so high density and medium. So medium, what I'm putting here is 10. Okay, so 10. So here you can see density is greater than viscosity. I mean viscosity is higher than this so I will call it uh, the the middle one all right and you have to make sure one thing it's that the density is on so you can come here density is on so it's gonna read there and uh, you, if whatever you keep it it's not gonna bother because we have a value outside so whatever this value is it's okay uh, because anyway we are calling from outside but for now we put it zero and I'll show you with the thousand also the default value also how it's gonna look so I changed the uh, <clears throat> the text according to this and let's play yeah so you can see the red one red one is what oh, come on so red in the middle so which is hard so it's like uh, it took some time to flow which is middle one right so you see it is tighter and the blue one blue one here i mentioned it is bottom one so you can see the bottom one it has a flow right so see it's like this and the top one is very liquidy so you can see here liquidy so yes that's a great um, <clears throat> um one you need to know it's like uh if if your if your density is higher then the viscosity the flow will be a little more there will be flow okay so another good example i can show you here is the density is 20 here right i'll keep it thousand for the blue okay for the blue density i'll keep it thousand okay and uh, i'll change it here as well thousand okay now you can see this is gonna spread along because density is higher than the uh, viscosity like in this one the last one density is higher than the viscosity okay so you can see more spread out so it's like the movement is the movement or the resistance is a uh, low here like see viscosity is 10 this is not velocity okay it's a viscosity okay so if i play it you can see it's more liquidy than um, because density is higher so it's going to break that resistance and bang all right so i i hope you understand this one and one thing to make sure is that uh, this is um, uh, if i keep it thousand back okay but of course it is reading from the attribute so if i come here again it's i'm going to get the same result because that density is not going to bother my uh, simulation that's just a dummy one okay but okay that's a dummy one but 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 the same thing here uh even even if i put a viscosity uh this value okay so it's a dummy so it's not gonna reflect it's gonna it's not gonna reflect any of this because i am bringing the viscosity from the attribute okay so that you make sure you you, you notice that like if you click here i mean here then it's gonna ignore here and go there same thing here it's gonna ignore here and go there okay but if you don't have an attribute okay so it's just enabled this so now everything's going to be this value so you can see here it's gonna be very very solid boom okay so keep that in your mind right so another thing another thing um so as a default so you can see as a default so i am ignoring all of this ignoring all of this okay so there is no uh, attribute calling from soap level and if i come inside and i just change it here 10 okay so 
and I turn off so both are turned off okay so it's not gonna read here so now you see density is higher okay and the viscosity is lower so what do you expect what do you expect it's gonna be waterish because density is high so it breaks the resistance of the viscosity and firm all right and the other way if it is above so i'll keep it 10 10 density and 15 okay i'll, okay, I'll keep it 5 and the same 10 okay so viscosity is higher than the density here right now okay so what do you expect expect solid isn't it it's gonna be solid but little bit of melty but yes it's solid voila 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 so that you have to keep in mind uh, so this girl uh, explained it's a, it's a science experiment right so um, I don't know the math here I don't know the formula here what's happening why that happens but from the real experiment uh, this is exactly the same okay so it's like your density has to be uh, higher than viscosity to get a liquidish uh, or um, so if I keep it zero and two here or one one so now it's greater than right so viscosity is greater than the vis uh, density is greater than the viscosity so now it should be solid yes yes see it's solid density has to be greater than the viscosity to get more liquidish and viscosity has to be higher than the density to get a thicker one so it's like 10 and 100 so thicker one solid one it's gonna be really really solid it's, it's 10 times boom right so i'll keep it everything default again uh, the um, object and i'll turn on um i'll turn on the viscosity and uh, density again so like i said it's now gonna look here now they are ignoring this part and it's looking for the soap and there is nothing here okay so i'll turn it on and uh, the other thing i want to show is is the is this one <clears throat> this layer thing okay this layer is because of density right and the the flow the resistant flow one if you keep something if you put something that resistant like the coin has to flow from here to here so all the resistance to go down is based on the viscosity right so that is done like that part i think it's clear from what i explained now um where it's solid and where it's um like how you can get a solid one how you can get the liquid one so viscosity viscosity is definitely clear right uh from what i explained and i hope i hope so i hope so so the density one okay so density the layer right so it has to go down and up like higher has to go down lower has to be on the top so let's experiment on that okay so for that i need uh yeah this this uh sorry um okay so i have those things and this as well mm, yeah let's let's look for this one this one is this one is 10 top one is five and the blue one is a uh, thousand right so so in here like i said thousand uh okay thousand one no thousand five and ten okay um so red i want to go up okay so let it be 10 and the green i want to go in the middle so i will change to maybe 100 okay 100 or let's thousand so i'll keep it 300 okay so 300 i'll change it here density 300 
So green in the middle, blue has to go down and red has to go up. So that's how what it has to be. Let's see. Green in the middle, red on the top and blue at the bottom. All right, all right, all right. See blue, it's coming all the way down. And green is trying to keep the second um, layer and red being the first isn't it so isn't it like really good exp example and here you can see uh, density is higher than the velocity in the green so that's why it's like a blast over here okay because like I said if density is greater than viscosity not velocity viscosity um, it should be like a waterish and here you can see density is uh, higher than viscosity just like this and you can see the waterish but here you see density is lower than viscosity so you see pop up but this one uh, I think um, I made a <clears throat> uh, yeah you see uh, you have to agree come on come on it is trying to keep it see red on the top uh, green on the middle and blue on the uh, in uh, at the bottom right so please come on come on I, it is the best uh, way to explain right I want to like you know prove it one more time okay so red so right now let's do one thing um, let's keep the green up all right nothing else just go the green up so green has to have a low density exactly so i'll keep the viscosity what's the viscosity here one so i'll keep it two there's no need of i even have to keep it one okay so green i'm going to be viscosity one and the density one okay so <clears throat> one and red is 10 i'll increase that 10 to uh, 100 so that so it's clear Oh, red is in the end right so red is in the end so I keep it uh, more thousand so ten thousand okay don't worry don't worry it'll be it'll be written here ten thousand so ten thousand thousand uh, green in one okay so you can say that red density is so high so that it will stay here and uh, the density of blue is uh, you know not higher no less than red so a less than red and greater than green so it should go here and the green has to go up and about the viscosity case uh, these are same one and one uh, so one and one is not a good value I'll change the one and one um, is the it, it is hard to predict the to predict what's gonna happen so uh, I'll keep the viscosity too. Okay, so for the green, for the green too. Two. So here we can see that the viscosity or you know the flow here uh, will be tighter because vis viscosity is higher than the density. In this case, it will be waterish because density is higher than the viscosity. Same here, waterish. So red and blue will be waterish and green will be thicker. And in this case, um, the layer case, blue will be in the middle. So let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is doing good. This is doing good. Yeah, it's coming up. Yes, and this has to be water. This has to be water. This has to be thick. Yes, water, water, thick. Voila, voila, see it's the red is in the bottom so that says everything i guess um yeah i believe everything is included so thanks for watching and uh, thanks to oh, these people like it's very old 12 13 those two are the one this and this other one helped me a lot so you should watch it um I know the video is so long, 
like I should have explained in a few words but I don't know how to explain in a few words so you can see here okay so it's this is the proof like I said it's a proof and uh, make sure I mean uh, when you're doing <clears throat> like turn like be aware of this and this okay so the attribute has to be turned on to view, to read this part okay so if you have attribute turned on and it's going to ignore these two okay whatever value is fine so yes that's it uh, i hope you understand about uh, viscosity and density the difference right the difference uh, it's very yeah it was very con confusing uh, but I hope now it, it cleared most of your doubt, probably. So that's been said. Um, thank you. Thank you for watching. And uh, I have my this series. Watch it. Um, of course, it's everything is long because, uh, you know, like this, I explain a lot. But until you understand, that's all I care about. So take care. Uh, bye.